Rhea has brought some white papers for drawing. She has made some very interesting 3D paintings on these sheets. But now she wants to draw another painting. But no paper is left. So what will she do? She erased this whole drawing so that she could get the plain paper back so that she can make another drawing. So what did she do? She erased this whole drawing to get the plain paper. She reversed this process. That is, she turned back the entire process. Paper is recovered in its original form. It was the plain paper before. She made it into a drawing and then she erased the whole drawing to get the plain paper back. So she reversed the change she made to the paper. So this is called a reversible change. What is a reversible change? A change that can be undone or reversed. Like Rhea reversed the change of drawing and get, got the plain paper back. It also refers to the changes which can be turned back to get the original substance. So what did Rhea do? She turned back the drawn paper to the plain paper. That is the original substance here. Generally, reversible change is denoted by two opposite arrows. Why two opposite arrows? Because first the blank paper can be drawn and changed into a filled paper. Now, on erasing, the filled paper can be turned back into the blank paper. So it works both ways. Now, after erasing and getting back the plain paper, she made another drawing on those papers. Now, while she was away, her brother got a mischievous idea. He burned this paper. Seeing this, Rhea cried a lot. But can her brother bring back the paper again? Can he bring back her drawing again? No, because it is already burned. He cannot reverse the process here. So this entire process cannot be turned back. Paper cannot be recovered in its original form here. Or we can say that this is an irreversible change. What is an irreversible change? Change that cannot be undone or reversed. Like here, her brother cannot reverse the change he has made to the burnt paper. Or changes which cannot be turned back to get the original substance. So what is the original substance in this case? The drawn paper. And what was the change made by her brother to that? He burnt the paper, but now he cannot turn back the burnt paper to the drawn paper. So this was an irreversible change. Irreversible change is denoted by a single arrow. Why? Because it does not work both ways. Paper, when catches fire, turns into burnt paper. But can you turn back the burnt paper to the original paper? No. That is why it is denoted by a single arrow. Now you answer. What type of a change is melting of an ice cream? Reversible change or irreversible change? Well, melted ice cream can be frozen to become ice cream again. So that is why it is denoted by a two-way arrow. As it is a reversible change. Why? Because melted ice cream can be frozen back to become the normal ice cream or the frozen ice cream can be heated to melt. So this works both ways. That is why melting of an ice cream is a reversible change. Now say what type of a change is baking of a cake? Well, you can get a cake from the flour. But if I ask you to bring back the flour from the cake, can you do this for me? No, you cannot do this. So, this is an irreversible change. So, we learned that changes can be classified into reversible or irreversible changes.